In this video, you'll learn all about iCut Preflight. The first thing we're going to do is open a PDF by going to File, Open, and selecting the PDF. We'll fit the document to the window. To determine what issues need to be addressed in our PDF, we'll preflight the document. By going to Document, Preflight, and a PDF profile. Now the Errors and Warnings dialog will populate. According to the settings defined in the PDF profile, you can see we have a low res image, which can easily be swapped out for a higher res version. We can see the images in the document by switching to the Show Images view in Resources dialog. Selecting an image will zoom into its location in the file. Clicking Replace will allow you to select a higher res version of the image. To see the fonts in the document, click Show Fonts in the Resources dialog. Double-clicking a font will zoom into that font in the document. We can edit the text in preflight, eliminating the need to return to the native application of the PDF. The paragraph structure will remain intact. Let's zoom out to see the overall file again. We can easily edit the attributes of any object in the file. Here, we'll select a vector object. Clicking Show Separations in the Resources dialog will allow us to see the colors in the file. We can change the fill or stroke of this object. Simply adjust the percentages of these below. We can even add new color separations. For example, here we'll add a Pantone color. Notice that the new color will appear in Resources dialog. We can go to Document and Flatten to remove transparency from the file. Let's preflight the document again to see how the Errors and Warnings dialog has changed. If we're satisfied with the changes to the document, we can save the file. We can save a certified PDF from Preflight. We can go to History to bring up the History dialog, which will show a list of all the changes we've made to the file. 